This year I decided to grow Blue Lake pole beans. Um, as you can see behind me here, they're starting to die off, um, but I left them and the reason why I did that, I will be discussing in this video, so stay tuned. Keep watching. Hey guys, Tamara here with Yogi Gardens and as you can see behind me, I have all of these beans that are slowly starting to die off. I allowed my beans to kind of die off and go to seed. Um, I obviously harvested a bunch of them as well, but I wanted to save some of the pods so that I could have seeds for next year. Now this is only the first reason why I decided to do this. The second reason being is that beans, when you let them grow, um, provide a lot of nitrogen for the soil for the next crop that you plant. So if you're planting something that's a heavy feeder, such as tomatoes or brassicas, you want to plant legumes right before, so that's peas or beans. So I let my beans go ahead and die off, I let their leaves kind of drop, I'm going to let them decay into the soil, um, even some of the seed pods, and then especially those roots. Those roots are really going to um, help bring life to the soil. So if you're cutting down your plant, um, you know, make sure and cut it off the stem and leave those roots behind for next year's growing season. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys how I harvest these beans um, and save the seeds for next year. All right, so first I'm going to collect the beans um, and I'm just going to kind of like pull them off here. So nothing crazy. Um, this is probably what you expected you would be doing and it's as simple as that. Just kind of pull them off. And then once you have a nice amount, then we're going to go ahead and start to open the pods. And as you can see, there's so many nice little beans in here. And so that is what we are going to be collecting today. And there's several per pod. Um, and here I think there's about seven. So probably the longer the bean, the more seeds you're going to get, obviously. And I let these go all the way until they completely dried out. So we should have lots of beans here. And then all I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and take it and put it in a little brown um, seed packet and then label it with my fancy label maker and um, label it with the date and what's inside. And then that's it, then I'm gonna save those for next year and I'm gonna have plenty of beans to grow next season and I'm not gonna have to go out to the store and buy them. This is a great thing to do um, if you are wanting to save a little bit of money. So make sure that you guys are leaving a little bit of beans behind and not harvesting them harvesting all of them um, so that you can do this as well. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much.